What's going on you guys, Brendan here. Um, today is Tuesday the 21st, and it was just a long holiday weekend. President's Day was yesterday, so I thought it would be a good idea to do my first What Sold video. And I'm gonna take sales from Thursday all the way up through Monday and show you guys what sold. So stay tuned. I'm not gonna show everything in this video. Um, I am gonna show kind of a range of sales because there were some bad buys that ended up selling this week and then there were some really good sales so I'm not going to show everything because I don't want the video to be too long and boring but I will show some of the highlights and some of the lowlights. Before we get started uh, I just wanted to say maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's been really fun actually making these. Still getting a little more comfortable in front of the camera um, but it's been fun learning how to edit and getting used to all this and I feel like I've found some pretty good stuff and maybe have had a few good tips. So if you don't mind like and subscribe down below. And I think I'm gonna keep doing like the thrifting videos because they're pretty fun. And I think it's a cool way for me personally to document things that I found and just have that record. So it's pretty cool. And I actually found some good stuff this week too. So maybe there will be a video after this. First thing that sold this weekend, these Bose headphones. They sold for 97.46 plus shipping. And I paid $35 for these. Next, we have these Jordans. Jordan 11s, I believe. And they sold for $50 plus shipping. And I paid $7.99. As you can see, these aren't in the best shape. There's some toe lift there. And just like overall, like definitely not mint but they're pretty hard to find shoe, so they sold even with that. I mean, it's not an absurd amount of wear, but still enough that you would maybe normally pass on these, but they still sold. This next brand is a really good brand to look out for. It's Public Rec. I sold these pants for $45 plus shipping. I can show you the tag and the logo because it's actually a really fast seller. That's the brand, and the logo's usually on the back pocket, like a lot of pants, and it's there. Keep an eye out for those. Another clothing item we have, please excuse the mess, is this Polo Bear t-shirt, size extra large, and it sold for 25 bucks, plus shipping. These were just listed, and I sold these, the next day, a pair of Vuori shorts. Check that right there. Look out for that logo. These are kind of sun faded. They're supposed to be black. You could say, tell that they're a little bit like reddish, and they sold for twenty four bucks. Next, a brand we all know very well are these hokas right here. Except these aren't shoes. They are recovery flip-flops. And these sold also for $25. And I got them for eight. And we have this Disney Nike Golf Tour Performance Polo. Golf polo sold for $30. Going to do these six right now and I'll catch the other ones later. All done. This Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution sold for $19 plus shipping. These chubby swim trunks sold for $25 plus shipping. And then we have this Universal Studios Harry Potter World Ravenclaw sweatshirt. This is a size large. And this sold for $37 plus shipping. Another item from Universal Studios, this Men in Black Alien Attack t-shirt. One of my favorite rides at the park. And the t-shirt sold for 20 bucks. We also have this green Boston Red Sox Majestic jersey. This is an older jersey because Majestic does not make the Major League Baseball's jerseys anymore. There you go. And this sold for $75. Another small sale here, we sold this Philosophy Purity Made Simple Mask. 
sold for $14.50. And then this cheap game right here, split second for the PS3, sold for $6 plus shipping. Selling a lot of shorts this weekend. These Peladric shorts, I believe, for 30 bucks. This open box Canon toner for 32. Another pair of shorts. We sold these Vori shorts for $30 plus shipping. Sold this Under Armour golf hat. It is Jordan Spieth's line. A good logo to look out for right there. Sold that for $18 plus shipping. This Blu-ray DVD sold for $9.99. And this was free. I got it from a friend. Next with all these like cosmetic products, we sold this Drunk Elephant Facial Bison. And this sold for $40 plus shipping. This cordless picture light sold for $20 plus shipping. These glue glider refill packs, there's five of them, including the one that, six of them if you include the one that's in the gun ready, sold for $50 plus shipping. So that was a really good sale. I got the whole bag for 11. This Sega Genesis Mega Fire controller sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next, we sold a box of Star Wars vintage micro machines right here, and that sold for $30 plus shipping. Look at those. Sold. Funny story about these Ufu sandals right here. I got them for $7.99 and it was a horrible buy. I'll show you why. They're different colors and I didn't notice. Different colors. So someone actually wanted them. I sold them for $11.11 plus shipping. So bad. Last two sales for the weekend are two t-shirts. Pretty good sales too. This Halloween Horror Nights Walking Dead t-shirt sold for $34 plus shipping. It is brand new. And for $70 plus shipping, this Play Pokemon 2016 National Championships t-shirt. And this is also brand new. I forgot to record pulling them, but these are the last few sales of the holiday weekend. We have, this is the Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt, 2XL. This is the Crocs that I bought not too long ago. Uh, they're like boat shoes, Crocs, leather. And these are Disney ears, mini ears. These sold for $14.25. And the Crocs sold for 20 plus shipping. And the Tommy Bahama sold for 37 plus shipping. And then here we have a DVD set. It's sealed, but it has like this slit in the plastic. All Creatures Great and Small, and this sold for $49.95 plus shipping, and the Tennis Bag sold for $28 plus shipping. So those were all my sales. What's up guys? Just wanted to finish this video with a quick recap. Um, so everything I just showed you, there was a total of 48 items. I think there were a couple that I didn't include in the video, but I sold 48 items total this video and it was for a total of $2,156. And after fees and shipping, which was $533, that left me a net of $1,500 and $1, $1,501. And then cost of goods, every item was probably five to $10. If we just do 10 to make it easy, subtract another $480. And it's still, a nice little profit of over a thousand dollars in the four day span. So it was a good weekend. Um, thanks for going through my sales with me. And if you made it this far, maybe like and subscribe. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.